Okay, so today we're going to be looking at 1000 watt power inverters, their size and what you can expect to run. As you can see from this one here, they become quite bulky, heavy duty, more industrial use at this size. You might find the odd one does have a handle which makes them a bit easier to move around, but they are quite heavy um, to move around. So you're gonna to wanna to install it probably permanently in place. You've got, you might have some uh, mounting feet here. This one itself was actually used in a coffee van. So it was used to run all sorts of things, a couple of fridges, uh, a coffee grinder, lighting, all at the same time without any problems. Um, it was hooked up to the main electrical sort of circuits in the coffee van and onto some onto the battery with some four gauge uh, wires here. So what can you expect to run? Well, don't expect to pull exactly a thousand watts out of these because they're never 100% efficient. You're probably looking at more like 85 to 95% efficient depending on your model and whether you're modified or pure scene wave. Um, so probably look at about 800 watts, stick to 80% of what, what it's rated to. Uh, that's because it's gonna need to use a bit of power for its internal systems, its cooling fans, that sort of thing, especially when you're pulling higher loads, the lighting, safety systems, that sort of thing. Plus you lose a bit of power during the DC to AC conversion. What can you expect to run with a 1000 watt power inverter? Well, as I said, don't try and draw more than 800 watts. To be on the safe side, you're not going to overload it. But that's quite a lot of things, actually. You can run most small to medium sized home appliances, anything like even refrigerators, uh, crock pots, lighting, televisions. You could even run a games console, an Xbox, a PlayStation 5, something like that, with a television fans, all sorts of those sort of small to medium sized things um, with small electric motors and general electronic appliance. You could even probably run small personal blenders, that sort of thing, um, and small power tools as well, orbital sanders, small, uh, small drills, although power tools do start to get up into the hundreds, if not thousands of watts. You certainly won't be able to run anything that's really using a heating element, sort of things like kettles, um, hair straighteners, hair dryers, all might be a problem um, because that heating element will draw probably way more than a thousand watts to be honest with you. You're looking at using this in a small RV or camper van, small food truck to run fridges, that sort of thing. Um, so actually they're quite a nice size for, for camper van conversions, RVs and that sort of thing where you're not going to be using a ton of power um, and you just want to run some lighting maybe a small DC fridge, that sort of thing. Um, and certainly nothing too large. You're not gonna be run, able to run the largest power tools or home appliances with this. So the continuous power you can draw from these is about 800 watts. Um, you should also mention peak power. That's gonna be able to cope with a surge of power when you're switching on appliances for the very first time. So it's actually gonna be able to double that peak power output for a few seconds to nearly 2000 watts, which is great if you're adding things to your circuit or firing up a slightly bigger item for the first time and that motor gets running, it's gonna take a peak surge in power for a few seconds. But, so this one will have a 2000 watt peak power. That does not mean you can draw up to 2000 watts. It means it can handle a surge for maybe a few seconds, five to 10 seconds maximum. If you wanna know how much power your appliances will draw, well, usually the maximum wattage is written somewhere on the specification sticker, um, or grab yourself a watt meter and get a live reading. Plus there's a link in the video, uh, below the video that has a list of appliances and their average wattages. So you can start to work out what you can and can't run. If you wanna run multiple things, simply add up that maximum wattage and make sure that total is below 800 watts.